reporting to you live from Super Happy Awesome News Headquarters! I'm Joey and I have some expert teams to bring you the happiest news around. In song, welcome! You're really putting your neck on the line. Great work out there. I'm reporting to you live from Ascension Episcopal School where the rivalry between the Gators and the Pumas has been hitting up all season long. This is sure to be an epic matchup. And I've got some awesome news of my own. I just figured out that the game has been canceled. That's right, canceled. Woohoo! Now you may be wondering, why is this awesome news? Well, I'll tell you. Everybody plays, everybody wins, everybody wins, everybody wins. You can't lose if you don't begin, and that's what I call a good game. When nobody plays, everyone's the best, everyone's the best, everyone's the best. So hang a medal around your chest. You're all winners, just sit and rest. Cause canceled games means canceled. And that's what I call a good game. Just think of it this way. Today, you're all MVPs. It's like getting a participation trophy, but without the participation. 
Congrats, everybody. Good game. Hey, everybody. Remember Joey, that news anchor from before? Well, she happens to be my older sister. I asked if I could be her co-anchor, but she said her news desk was too small for the both of us. Too bad, right? Fortunately, I know the password to all her accounts. It's Joey's Awesome 1234, in case you were wondering. Anywho, I just wanted to say hi to all of you. Hi! Keep it down, Joey! I'm recording! Gosh, some people are so intrusive. Parker, get off the air! Oh, we're live. Welcome back to Super Happy Awesome News. We are very sorry for that annoying interruption. We assure you, it won't happen again. Only super happy expert contributors are allowed on this network. And absolutely, no younger siblings. After the break, we'll be back with the news that makes everyone happiest, politics. But first, a word from our sponsors. The following is a public service announcement from all of us here at IKEA, the Every Kid Everywhere Association. Are you a parent who's stuck at home with your kids all day? Are you constantly searching for activities to enrich their lives? Are you determined to shape them into the best people they can be? We at IKEA have a strong recommendation. Leave them alone. out, just remember our motto, the more screen time, the less screen time. You know how water is super good for you, but it's also super tasteless? Well now, you can spice up your water with spicy water. With spicy water, you ask? Well, thanks for inquiring. Spicy water is your one-stop shop for deborifying your water. It's a fine black spice that comes in a cute little shaker like this. Just add it to your water and stir. Now I know what you're thinking. That looks an awful lot like pepper. Well, aren't you silly? It may look like pepper, but it's not pepper. It's spicy water. See? It has a totally different label and everything. And it tastes delicious. Let's give it a try. Just shake it directly into your glass with plain old water, like so. Easy, right? Now just stir and taste. Mmm, yum, spicy. You better act fast, it's just $29.99. These bars are flying off the shelf. So go get your pepper. I need spicy water today. <coughs> somebody who is definitely not annoying and totally an expert in happy news. I'm here to welcome you all to my brand new show. And now it's time for my amazing theme song. Do you ever feel the need for happier awesomer stuff? Is the super happy awesome news just not happy enough? Well, never fear, cause the newer happy news is here. Super happier, awesomer news. Another news that sings. Whoa, 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 whoa. Super happier, awesomer news. We cover even super happier, awesomer things. Pretty great, right? I found the MP3 on my sister's computer and improved it. The super happier, awesomer news. Get out of here, Joey. Watch it. Hello, viewers. As you can see, Super Happy Awesome News has been challenged, and we do not shy away from a challenge. No. If they go happy, we'll go ecstatic. If they spread joy, we'll spread joy and add some cheer. Hello, from our nation's capital, where Super Happy Awesome News, the original Happy News Network, is on the scene. The Senate convened today at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. After opening remarks in the Pledge of Allegiance, all of the senators made friendship bracelets. I spoke with one of the representatives after the session, who reported, 
I didn't want to choose one BFF. We in the Senate are all BFF AE, AE, AE. When I inquired what AE stood for, she responded, and ever, and ever, and ever, duh. In short, everyone's getting along beautifully here in DC. We at Super Happy Awesome News know nothing is greater than a gourmet meal. My name is Francois Alexander. I study my art in Paris. I learned how to make our maiden shares for craft and precision arcade. So follow my detailed instructions and your taste buds will dance with glee. First open the bread, then take out the jam and dip the knife into the jar. Then spread it out thin with circular form. A little will go very far. Then clean after all, we are not animals. It's an art, it's an art, and making it all falls apart. It's an art, it's an art, it takes craft and precision in heart. Let's give it a taste, shall we? of bread and faint hints of peanut. Bon appetit! Hey yo, it's super happier, awesomer news. And what's awesomer than peanut butter and jelly? Peanut butter, jelly, and a whole lot of other stuff. Check it out. So you already got your PB and your J. Now, let's amp it up with some gummy bears. And how about some Righteous CS, chocolate syrup? Don't forget the WC, whipped cream, baby. That's the stuff. Put those slices together, and you got yourself a PBJ GB CSWC. Let's give it a try. Talk about dangerously delicious. Remember, when it comes to cooking, more is always better. Try topping that super happy awesome news. I dare ya. Oh, hi there. It's good to see you. Well, we all know it's very, very good to see me. I'm coming to you on behalf of super happy awesome news. It seems that you can't get enough of us, and if I'm honest, I can't get enough of me either. You may recognize me from my many appearances on soap operas and or my widely popular TikTok account with only hundreds of millions of views, but no biggie. Today though, we're um, coming into the community to talk directly to people. And I'm here with Blair. Super happy and kind of weird. It was 6 a.m. and I heard loud music coming out of the basement. So I walked on down. When I opened the door, I saw my amazement. My mom dancing to Beyonce. And beside her, you guessed it, my dad. And the part I'm still trying to process. They really weren't so bad. Oh, it was good. Yeah, it was great. Then they asked me if I wanted to participate. Then I said, uh, no, don't scar my childhood. But it was good. And awkward. My neighbor has some happy news, too. Hey, Dylan, tell Super Happy News about your walks. Thanks, but my parents definitely can't dance. But me and my dad have our own hobbies. For the past two months, me and my dad have our own tradition. We pack some snacks, go outside with a single mission. We walk just as far as we're able, smile at each passing car. We walk just every mile. We're at 258 so far. It's really nice and it feels just 
should interview my sister too. Hey, Tanner, heads up. Did you seriously just throw a microphone at me? You want me to do what? Look at the camera? Oh, hi. How many people are watching? Nice. Hey, this is cool. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I'm famous and I think my life is now complete. Shout out to my chess club and my friends at school. Oh, you want this back? Sure. Hey, you look familiar. Have I seen you on TikTok? Oh, why yes. Yes, you have heard of me. Thank you all for sharing your joyful memories with Super Happy Awesome News. And just remember, we're here for you. Well, I'm not a spare reporter, but that's okay. Because, because I can find my own stories. It'll be fine. Are you interested in giving an interview? We want to hear how you're doing. How are you feeling? Whatever you want to share, I'm listening. Really? You want to hear how I'm feeling? Well, nobody's really asked me that in a while. Um, well, honestly, I feel a little bit tired, uninspired, and confused. Honestly, it feels a little bit scary, all those stories on the news, and I hope it will get better, cause right now it feels so strange. Parker, what are you doing? Are you trying to upset people? This is why I did want you to. <sighs> Sorry everyone. I promise this won't happen again. Parker, stay off my feet and leave me alone. You don't know what you're doing. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Hi, here's another public service announcement from IKEA. Turns out, tons of screen time may not be the best thing for your child. Apparently, staying up all night playing Candy Crush, binge watching Netflix shows, and recording YouTube videos may make people jittery and nervous. Ah! What was that? <sighs> so, from all of us at IKEA, remember our new motto. Get off your phone and go look at a tree or something. In other breaking news, PBJ, GB, CSWCs may be unhealthy for kids. Who knew? Please visit our website for more info. Hi, I really like your show. I know it wasn't super happy, but my favorite story was actually that interview Parker did. I haven't really talked about this, but it hasn't been great here either. Honestly, I'm feeling kind of lonely. Seems like all my friends have moved on. Honestly, I don't know why things are changing. Like, did I do something wrong? But I see there's others out there who are feeling lost like me. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks. So, thanks. Hey, I'm a big fan of the show. And it may sound weird, but when I saw that kid open up, I thought maybe I should share my story too in case someone's going through the same thing. Honestly, I feel a little different since my grandpa passed away. And honestly, I really wish I could just call him and just make this sad go away. Okay, I said this. Thanks for listening.
I know you don't usually share stories like this, but I'm really glad you did. Sometimes I feel a little scared to open up. I always think I'm being way too sensitive. But when I see there's others sharing on their own, I don't feel alone. I'm really glad you did that interview. right back after these messages. Have you ever built a tree before? It's amazing and you don't even have to charge it. And we're back. Hello viewers. I'm reporting to you live from Super Honest Awesome News Headquarters. We know life can be super fun, difficult, awesome, sad, and happy. And no matter how you're feeling, it's okay. My producer Joey and I are listening and we want to hear from you. That's our Super Honest Awesome News promise. And now some stories from our community. Thanks for sharing. It's been a very challenging school year and I am looking forward to next year to see what the future holds. Can't wait to see you all. I'm looking forward to the 7th and 8th grade football team. I'm excited to go to 3rd grade. So I'm excited for next year because all our restrictions will be taken off and this year was okay. If we didn't have restrictions, I bet this year would have been awesome. I really like playing on the 6th grade basketball team this year. I'm excited to go to 7th grade, even though I know it's going to be harder than 6th grade. I feel like we had a great year, despite the many challenges and obstacles our way. I look forward to next year having looser restrictions and hopefully going on field trips with our 7th grade and 6th grade. I would be happy to uh, finally not wear masks for two months. I do not want to wear masks next year. Although in sixth grade we had to wear masks and had to be behind plexiglass, next year we won't have to be behind plexiglass. I really like this year. It was great, you know, all the tough stuff. And I think, um, what, uh, it was a good year overall. Not bad. I'm excited to go to seventh grade. I hope all the teachers are the same. <laughs> and what I wish that this year could have done with the field trip. I'm excited to not be social distanced anymore. <laughs> hey Blue Gators, thanks for such a great year. Um, even though we had masks and plexiglass and all things COVID, I think it went off very well and I hope you have a great summer. You sure have earned it and we welcome you back in the fall with all things Blue Gator. Go Gators. I re I'm ready to take my mask off. Thank <laughs> you. 